I'm Eva Frakedic from Agrar Estate Agents. Welcome to the Kasula Market Review for February. Today I'm here at Leacox Regional Park, located just four kilometres out of Liverpool CBD and borders the Glen Region Estate of Kasula. This park is just over 38 hectares of park and reserve land with some beautiful cycle and walkways. Just up to the west of the park is the Glenfield Farm Estate and All Saints Catholic Senior College. Kusula was first settled by agriculturalists in the 19th century. Among them, Richard Guise, who named the farm Kusula after his hometown in England. The area became dominated by poultry farming, market gardening and fruit growing. One of the most notable properties was Glenfield Farm, which dates back to 1817. Situated here in Leacox Lane, it originally belonged to Charles Throsby, a member of the council and an explorer. The farm is the oldest continuous worked farm in Australia and is listed on the register for the national estate. Now let's look at what's been happening within the property market of Kasula. In January, only three properties sold, which was a large contrast to the year prior where 11 properties had sold in the month of January. The lower sale price was 690,000 for 532B Hume Highway. And the higher sale price was 911,500 for the home at 182 Cedar Road, Kasula. Currently there are 66 properties listed for sale on realestate.com.au. With such a large number of available properties and such a low number of actual sold properties within January, it does make you ask the question why and how can this be? Already this year I've experienced many clients calling me to discuss their frustrations with listing their home with another agent who promised them an unrealistic price and now they are still on the market, unsold and are feeling extremely deflated. I really encourage all owners who are currently selling their home or considering selling their home to really understand the market and do their research on the current market conditions. Understand what actual sales results have happened around their home. Carefully consider the agent that they select to have work for them. It is never a promise of a sale price which will deliver you the best outcome. Your agent must have a strong area knowledge and a clear process and plan on how they are going to market your home to maximise the sale outcome. Nor should you ever be selecting your agent only because they are the cheapest. You usually get what you pay for. Look at the past results for your agent, talk with past vendors and purchasers and ask questions to help ensure you're making the right decision. Most importantly, ensure that you have trust within your agent that you select to represent you and your home. If you are interested in learning how the current market results have impacted your property's value or would like to discuss your property goals for 2018, please contact us. We would be more than happy to provide you with an updated property appraisal and professional guidance on how you can achieve those desired property goals. Please feel free to call me, Eva, directly on 0401 277 868. Many thanks for taking the time to watch. Please like and share, but bye for now.